So a massively significant today here for the history of Port Talbot Steelworks and the history of the town and maybe the history of steelmaking in the UK. Behind us, we've just come out of the planning committee meeting of Neath Port Talbot Council, who have approved the plans for low CO2 electric arc furnished based steelmaking at the Port Talbot Steelworks just across the road. Joined by Rajesh Nair, CEO of Tata Steel UK. Rajesh, you must be delighted with the outcome today. Absolutely, I can't be more pleased uh, with the outcome than today. And a lot of work's gone in from a lot of people to get to this place. You know, uh, how appreciative are you of all that work and the level of detail? That was a big report we went through today. That's right. A lot of people, an uh, enormous amount of work has been done by, uh, by a number of people. I think what I heard is uh, more than about 100 people have been, uh, have been working for the past, I think, about two, two and a half years to put, uh, put, all this, uh, put all the documents together, all the information together for the planning committee members and for the planning officers to have made the right decision uh, for us today. Yeah, and this I guess opens the door now to a whole lot of work being able to start pretty soon. Spades in the ground in the summer is what we've said. Your focus must be very firmly on the future now, Rajesh. Yes, I think, uh, I mean, more than uh, a milestone, it's not just about the, the milestone that we have today. It's about the timeliness of the milestone. And for me, more importantly, uh, it's something that we had planned, saying that we would, get a, we would try and get our planning commissions in February. And to have our first significant milestone on time is a big uh, boost to the entire project team and to the entire company because we are starting our journey now uh, on, the, on the right foot in the right way. And that's a huge yeah. momentum that we can build on. And building on from this, we are hoping to seriously start our uh, construction activity in the summer of 25. Yeah, super. Listen, thanks very much for taking time out to join sure. us, Rajesh. I want to move on to Natalie Young. Natalie, I can't remember your job title exactly, but it's kind of <laughs> property and legal stuff. But you've been leading this piece of planning, really, with the council. An unbelievable amount of work has gone into this, hasn't it? It has, yes. So, as Rajesh noted we've got a team of about 100 people working on this it's been about three years that we've been working on this project um, we've produced more than 300 documents with information and data to explain all the technical elements and the physical elements of this there's more than 3,000 pages information that were finally submitted to the planning committee so they could make a fully informed decision on what they were voting on today. Yeah, and I hesitate to say your work is done because I'm sure that's <laughs> not the truth. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot to go. But one of the things that came out of today was this approval of planning with conditions. Can you explain to people what that means? Yep, sure. So when you submit your application, you don't always have final information on certain pieces. So, for example, people would have seen the drilling rigs on our site. We were carrying out borehole testing and trial pit testing. We didn't have all the results of that data back from the labs at the time we submitted the planning application. So you need to submit that final report to square that away and make very people comfortable that we're dealing with all of the issues that are there in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's why we, we, we won't be digging till June, July in the summer, I guess. Now, the other thing I'd just like to pick your brain about is lots of people have been going, you know, how comes the business has already made decisions such as signing a contract with Tenova um, before it's got planning permission? Why is it only now that we've got to this place? Why, why would we not have waited for planning permission before we took all those other decisions? I think... We've put a lot of time and resource and had a really top-notch expert team, both internally and externally, working on this application. And we've been sharing this information with all of the key stakeholders for over the course of the last two years, really, getting that challenge and that comfort then that we're doing the right thing. So the business has wanted to move at pace yeah. with this investment and it's gone ahead committed to do that because it's been confident in that team and what they do. Yeah. And the planning committee today is a sign of that you know fully unanimous decision yep. on putting it through yeah everybody's confident that we're doing the right thing in the right way mm. and for the right reasons and the company's known that been able to commit and make decisions um, in terms of resources because of that yeah and I know most people are never going to get the opportunity I'm sure if they want to read the planning report in full they can but the opportunity to go into it in detail but I remember you talking to me about things like environmental impact assessments and you have to do it over a 12-month period so it's not just a case of doing a few works of few weeks of work you've got to wait until all those assessments are done as well haven't you yeah that's absolutely right it's a fundamental requirement in law that you do four seasons worth of surveys for your environment impact assessment so you need one in spring one in summer one in autumn and one in winter so you've automatically yeah. got 12 months built into your time frame for that alone yeah. let alone then the analysis that results from it and your action plan 
yeah. and then all your designs and reports. And what, what does work going forward look like for you and your team and the planning team here now then? Uh, we'll need to discharge those conditions that you referred to. So some of those have to be done before we can start the building, which is why we're starting in the summer. Yeah. Some of those happen as we hit certain phases of the development. Um, and then we'll be yeah, submitting those reports in turn in rote as a programme to make sure that we can keep moving on with this development at pace. Yeah, listen, thanks very much for joining us and explaining where we are. Rajesh, thanks very much for your time today and talking to the, to the planning committee there. Obviously uh, had the impact that was desired. As I said, a monumental day for the steel industry in the UK, monumental day for Patal, but you know, the passion and commitment of the councillors in here, the planning committee and those supporting the application was very, very evident. They absolutely understand how important this is for the community in the town of Patal, but they said, we want to see steel making in Patal, but we want to be a steel town, and the decision today will make sure that that's a reality. So listen, thanks Rajesh, thanks Natalie, we'll catch you soon.